for a question like this, um, the focus should be on the um, information given to you in the question. Uh, they're telling us that n is equal to 4p, and they're telling us that the p is a prime number, so we need to know what prime numbers are, like 1, 3, 5, 7. And, but we want a prime number that's greater than 2, so that means you have to start at 3, 5, and 7. Um, so pretty much what we want to do here is let's test a couple of these and try to find out how many even divisors we have. Um, again, remember that a divisor are the numbers that make up a bigger number. So for example, we can say n is equal to 4. We swap the p in for 3. Um, so that's going to give us an option of 12. We can also have n equal to 4 and we swap in the p for 5, which is another prime number to get a 20. And then we could say n equal to 4 which is 7. Now, the reason why we're doing all these options is to try to see if there is a pattern of the number, if there's a pattern of the number of positive even divisors. So, uh, at this point, let's break up the 12 and see all the divisors that make up 12. Again, remember, a divisor is pretty much a smaller number that makes up, that multiplies to give you the big number. So, if I look at 12, uh, the divisors of 12 are... 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. Again, if you look at those pairs, those are all pairs that make up 12. So those numbers are divisors. But in this case, we only care about the um, we won't only care about the even ones. So let's break up the 20 and the 28. So the divisor of a 20 would be, uh, let me draw a line there. The divisor of a 20 would be 1 and 20, 2 and 10, uh, 4 and 5. And then the divisors of 28 will be 1 and 28, 2 and 14, and 4 and 7. So in this case, what we want to go ahead and do now is identify all the even divisors, even positive divisors. So for the 12, um, your set is going to be uh, is going to be 2. It's going to be 2 there. It's going to be 12. It's going to be 6, and it's going to be 4. So as you can see, there are four of them. Then for the 20, the same thing. Look at 2, 4. Look at 20 and 10. For the 28, the same thing. 2, 4, uh, 14 and 28. Well, what we notice here then is in looking at 12, 20 and 28, in each case we have 1, 2, 3, 4 positive even divisors same thing here one two three four positive even divisors one two three four positive even divisors so this tells us that the answer will be four it means in every case where you have a prime number greater than two and you multiply by four the even divisors you have the positive even divisors you have there are always going to be four of them thank you